antes, pero muy bien, bienvenidos de vuelta a mi canal. Eh, el video de hoy va a ser, como ya vieron en el título, un tutorial de maquillaje hablando inglés. Y creo que la que empezó esto fue Kathleen White, que es un youtuber favorita desde que nací, básicamente. Fue la primera persona a la que me suscribí. Y ella es cubano-americana, entonces hizo un video este, hablando español. Luego mi buena amiga Anselmi creo que hizo otro y también otra persona. Y luego alguien me escribió en Instagram de que, oye, tú también te deberías hacer uno. Entonces, hice una encuesta, mucha gente dijo que sí, así que hemos aquí subiéndonos al tren del mami. Y la verdad está chistoso porque durante muchos años, antes de atreverme a hacer mi canal, pensaba que si alguna vez hiciera un canal hubiera sido en inglés, este, porque yo, la neta, tipo, consumo internet en inglés. O sea, la mayor parte de las youtubers que veo son en inglés. Me relaciono con el contenido en internet en inglés y los términos de make-up no me lo sabía ni siquiera en español. Entonces esto va a ser como un video de lo que pudo haber sido, pero no fue. Pero bueno, vamos a cambiar inglés en 3, 2, 1. All right, hello people. By the way, I'm going to be changing uh, backgrounds like a lot for the next month or so because I'm in, in between apartments, as some of you know. So if you think that it's a little bit random that in my last couple of videos I've been in like super strange places, that's why. Right now I'm in my cousin's apartment, so yeah. My English is a little bit rusty, I have to tell you, because I haven't been speaking English lately. Like, there was almost like two straight years in which I spoke English every single day because I moved to Thailand for a, an exchange semester and then I was speaking English there every single day. Obviously, my best friends were from India as well as my ex-boyfriend, so I spoke English with them and then I kept my relationship with my ex-boyfriend which I still love he's amazing um for another like year over a year or so so I was speaking English every day I used to be super fluent let's see how I do today so the makeup I'm gonna do today it's gonna be like a cool girl summer makeup kind of which basically my life consists of putting enormous amounts of effort into looking effortless so This is the makeup version of that and it, I think it's the perfect makeup for summer, which is like for going out and stuff. You don't want to look like you did too much. You want to look fresh, you want to look cool, but you want to still look like put together, but like you didn't make that much of an effort, as I said a million times already. So I'm going to start with my It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream um, cream moisturizer and I'm just... I love how fresh makeup looks, so... A good base, like good hydration, it's always super important with these kinds of looks. Because I'm not gonna go heavy on the foundation, so I want my skin to look amazing. Or as amazing as I can. Which my skin has been doing not so great lately as it was the first few months of the year. But still, it's like, it's decent. I don't need that much makeup right now, to be honest. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes. And then we start with the rest. Okay, as I said, I don't want my face to look like cakey with a lot of foundation. So I'm just gonna put a little bit. This is my favorite for this kind of look like fresh summary. It's a number seven instant radiance foundation, uh, which is a super thin formula and it's really dewy. This is the color warm beige, which is a little bit tan for me, but that's okay because we want to look tan in the summer. And I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit. I just want to like uh, even out my skin tone and make it look more even, basically. And I, I'm just gonna blend away with my Real Techniques sponge. And then I take a little bit extra on the places, on the spots that I need it, for example, here and here, and here and here, and maybe there. And that is basically it for foundation. I really want my skin to peek through and to look fresh and to look like I have nothing on. So yeah, that's that. Um, I'm gonna move on to concealer. And my favorite concealer also for this kind of look is a Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. It's not the best concealer in the world. Like I can tell you that, but I don't know why. It just works for me so well for every day. Like, It blends like a dream, it looks really natural, it looks dewy, I feel like it fills my pores. I just love it, so 
I just use that. And this is in the color 30. Yeah. If you have super dark under eyes, you may not like this. Like it may not be enough. But it just if you just want it to look like fresh and natural, then this is it, people. Okay, we're gonna let that set for a few minutes. Um before I set it with powder and I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows. Okay, I zoom you in a bit so you can see better. For my eyebrows, you know I love a bold eyebrow, but for the summer and for this kind of look, I really like the feathery, messy, bushy, undone eyebrow. So I'm just gonna brush everything up. This is a brow pencil I got in one of my boxy charms. It's by Mellow. I'm just gonna brush everything up. And I'm gonna start filling the gaps, but I don't wanna be like super precise because I want it to look messy. So I just do like the bottom and then I brush up. It's a lot of brushing, let me tell you that. I go on the on the arch, I do like to define the top part because I'm gonna brush this up so it's not gonna look like that. But then it still gives you the shape and the definition. And then for this part, which is where you can kind of see like the hair is uh, more like separated and sparse, I like to keep it to the minimum. I just go very gently like this because I feel like this is a trick. Uh, when it comes to this kind of eyebrow, like you don't want to look, make it look very perfect over here. After I'm done filling them in, I'm just gonna brush them up and do like this, wiggle the brush. So it creates a lot of volume and they look fluffy and nice. And also this helps blend uh, the lines so it looks more seamless. And I'm gonna finish them off with some brow gel. This is tinted. This is by EM. Uh, it's super inexpensive. It was like 40 pesos maybe. I'm just gonna use this to set them and keep the hairs hopefully like this the whole day. Okay, for the skin, I want to look super bronzy and like glowy but uh not too defined so i I'm, i am gonna do a little bit of contouring but i'm gonna do it with a fluffy brush and i'm gonna combine my contour with my bronzer so it looks more seamless and more effortless like i don't want to look too defined so i'm gonna take from my highlight and contour palette from the balm which i use a lot you've seen me use this like a million times but i love it i use it every day it's so so useful so versatile i'm just gonna combine like both of the contouring colors and I'm gonna take my Beauty Basics Bronze Essentials bronzer, which is my favorite bronzer of life. This gives you like J-Lo vibes. Jennifer Lopez, if you wanna look like a Jennifer Lopez goddess, bronzy, glowy, then this is it. And I combine with my contouring colors and then I'm, I just take like the excess off in my hand. And I'm gonna like contour slash bronze. My hair is looking a little bit crazy, not gonna lie. Yeah, I love this. I love how this bronzer looks. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm never gonna get tired of saying it. I'm never gonna get tired of using it. I wanna thank personally whoever invented it. It's amazing. And I, I just drag it down a little bit so I can blend with my neck because this foundation is a little bit tan for me. And then I do a little bit on the forehead. Okay, for blush, I'm gonna use this CoverGirl um, Classic Color Rose Silk Blush. I've had this for like a million years, but I love the color, it's super flattering. I think it looks really cute. Uh, it's like a pinky, peachy, glowy, but not shimmery. And I, I take it and I like to put it like here, which is an unusual place for blush. But I like that it looks like the sun hit you and you got a tan and you know how you naturally tan like here. You get more like red and rosy around here. So it's a summer, so that's what I wanna achieve. I wanna look like tan and rosy and I feel like it looks super cute. 
Okay, so back to my concealer and I left it for a few minutes to set. And the reason why I do this is because I have a lot of lines underneath my eyes and it always sets in there. So I like to go over a few minutes later and set it again and then powder. And this makes it look more natural. And the powder I'm going to use, I stole from my cousin. I've never used this before, but I wanted to use it for so many years. Cody Aerospun, this is a super basic powder. A lot of people use it because it's also super inexpensive, but I've never used it until yesterday when I stole it, and I really like it. So I'm just going to take a little bit, take the excess off, and just powder away. The one thing I don't like is the smell. I feel like it smells like an old person. Like if I went to a retirement home, this is what it would smell like. Shit, I made a mess. Excuse me. Okay, for the eyes, I'm gonna do something super simple, but flattering. I'm gonna use my MAC Melba blush, which is a blush that I almost never use as blush. I always use it as eyeshadow. I love how this looks. I love the pink because it's not like super pink, it's kind of like pinky but orangey and it's like a neutral look but with a little bit more, like it's more colorful but it's not in your face color, I don't know, I just really like it as an eyeshadow. And I put this on a, it, this is a blending brush by Morphe uh, M433 and just on the outer crease and on the crease and just like blend. Super basic, this is super easy, you need like zero skills to do this. And then I'm gonna take a highlighting, shimmery, light, champagne-y shadow. It can be any shadow. I'm just gonna use this one, Free Spirit. This is from the Pourp Cosmetics Festival palette, which I got in my box of and I'm, I'm loving, like, I love this palette. It's so much fun. And this shadow is amazing. Super shimmery and, like, super glittery. And I'm just gonna do it with my finger. You know I love to use fingers. Start in my inner corner and go I don't want to go all the way I just want to like fade it here and this is gonna open up your eye immediately and make it look like so much more luminous and intense but it's still natural because it's just like two shadows and then I'm gonna blend again I'm gonna take a black eyeliner this is from vintage cosmetics and this is the smoky eye pencil and I'm gonna do kind of a wing, but it's gonna be a super casual wing. I don't want it to be defined at all because, like I said, I want it to look effortless. And I feel like this makeup is super flattering on anyone. Like, it would look good on anyone. And it's super easy. So I'm just gonna line like such. And then I'm gonna take this little brush, which is like a pencil brush, but it's small. And then this one is from Bloxy. And I'm gonna blend with this. And I'm using a fluffy brush because I want it to look like smoked out. Not too defined, not too perfect. So this is gonna give us the right look. This is also a super easy way to achieve a cat eye because if you do it with like a liquid liner, it's super hard sometimes and you, you struggle to make them look even. But since this is not too perfect, then it's a good like alternative. Okay, what do we think? I think that's fine. And I'm just gonna, uh, for the under eye, I'm gonna use this same brush, which has like remains uh, of the pencil. So it's gonna be a little bit black, but not too black. And I'm gonna mix it with my blush. And I'm gonna line with this. It's gonna give us like a dark, smoky, pinky, brownish effect. Okay, now for mascara, I'm gonna use the Superhero Mascara by It Cosmetics, which I also stole from my cousin, but I made her buy this because this is freaking amazing. This is like my favorite mascara, and I haven't used it in like two months because mine uh, dried out, uh, and I haven't bought it again, and I was like resisting because it's expensive. It's like 500 pesos, but then I think it's worth it. The bad thing about this mascara is that it dries horribly. At least mine did, like... It got black mascara smudged all over my, like, all of my makeup, my fingers. Like, it didn't dry nice, so at the end, I didn't have a good experience with it. But it makes your lashes look like you're wearing extensions or something. 
so I might buy it again because I think it's worth it. If you have any recommendations of an affordable mascara that will make my lashes look like this, please tell me in the comments because there are so many amazing mascaras that are super affordable. I don't feel like you should have to spend that much. But then, oh, I don't know, I have mixed feelings because I love it. Okay, so those are the eyes and I'm just gonna finish the look with some highlighter, which is obviously my favorite part, always. And I'm gonna use, again, from my highlight and contour palette, uh, a combination of these two, mainly this one, which is like a pinky, champagne-y, goldy highlight. And I'm gonna apply it to my the top of my cheekbones. And I love this highlight because it's super natural. Like, it will glow, but it doesn't look blinding. So I think it's perfect for this kind of look in which you don't want it to look like you try too hard. Like I said a million times. So I just do around here, bridge of my nose. A little bit of my cupid's bow and then I take some with my fingers and I do on the arch of my brows and inner tear dot which is my favorite I feel like inner tear dot is what makes the biggest difference it just lights up your eyes Okay, that's it for the face. I'm just gonna finish off with a lipstick. You can use any color, you can just switch them up and use this makeup a million times with different lip colors. I'm just gonna do like a neutral lip. This is by Colourpop. This is the Satin Liquid Lipstick in Strip. And I'm just gonna do a little bit. I just wanna do like a stain. And then I'm gonna top this off with some Labello Lip Balm. As glamorous as that. This is a red one. I love it. Makes my lips look juicy. I'm just gonna put it in like the center just to give it a little bit of dimension and gloss. But I don't really like glosses that are like sticky and uncomfortable. So this is a perfect in between. And that is it for the makeup. Y listo, ¿qué les pareció? Este fue mi primer tutorial y probablemente único tutorial de la vida en inglés. Eh, me divertí, sentí que estuvo ameno, creí que me iba a ir peor, no, no lo sentí tan antinatural, tal vez porque les digo que mi relación con el maquillaje es muy en inglés, entonces... I had fun people. Entonces pues sí, espero que les haya gustado, pónganme comentarios abajo, ¿qué opinan de mi inglés? Este, se divirtieron, hablo horrible, debería hacer más videos de estos, recomiéndenme el Rimer, por favor. Y pues nada, se dice que hasta el final del video, muchas gracias por seguir aquí, no se olviden de suscribirse y nos vemos en la siguiente. Bye-bye.